Hey, this is Nilaji Mahapatra. Welcome to our another episode of estimation on story points using a different technique called complexity bucket. We earlier talked about uh, estimation on planning poker techniques. So over here, we are concentrating on doing the same estimation of story point, but using a different technique called complexity bucket. So uh, in this episode, we'll be focusing on two different aspect one we'll talk about how we are doing the calculation and how you can actually make a story points from different complexity areas and in another uh, portion we'll talk about uh, a demonstration mainly so we'll demonstrate a tool that i had created for one of my client and see how we can actually get a story points from different complexity areas so let's begin with some assumption and the first assumption we have the requirement of our user story. So let's assume as a customer, I want to add products to my shopping cart so that I can purchase item during checkout. So that's the user story point requirement that we are assuming and the areas we are actually calculating our complexity are UI development, business logic, database integration and testing. So that's the four different areas of complexity that we'll be calculating in this calculation. That is an example only. You can have any numbers of areas that you want to calculate for. And you can create your own calculation logic based on uh, the complexity bucket rules. Now how we'll be aggregating in this calculation? The aggregation will be on addition. You can do average also uh, for whatever the different uh, uh, complexity points you are getting. So we'll see uh, on our next uh, session uh, very quick how you can actually do that uh, complexity aggregation and uh, how you can customize at your need. And the different complexity levels that we will be calculating for the number one is small that we can say is equal to one, a low equal to two, medium equal to three and large equal to four. So that's uh, the distribution is. Okay, so let's begin. Our user story requirement as a customer that we talked about, I want to add a product uh, to the shopping cart so that I can uh, purchase at the time of checkout. And this is the complexity level that we assumed earlier is equal to one, L equal to two, M equal to three, and L equal to four. One more thing, uh, <coughs> each estimator uh, will estimate their own story point and most voted story point will be assigned to the user story. So each estimator here means the team members, if we have a team member of uh, five uh, people or five uh, uh, team members of two developers or three tester or three developer, whatever it is. So each team member except the scrum master and the product owner will participate in this estimation. They will run their calculation on and come up with a story point. How they will calculate it? As we mentioned, okay, these are the different areas we have uh, for our complexity. One, we had UI design, another we had business logic, another is database integration, and then manual testing. And the different levels of complexity, um, what we decided for this one is small, low, medium, high, and each one has a value of one, two, three, four. Now, for this particular story, at the time of estimation, everyone will do their own calculation. And for an example, uh, team member one estimated UI design as small. Business logic, he had decided, okay, let's make it as low, that's two. And he said, okay, for this kind of requirement, we don't have any database integration, so he left it blank. And manual testing, he said, okay, this may be a small manual testing we will be needing. So uh, we are not covering automation testing over here. For an example purpose, we are just having these four stages. Now, over here, we can see we have selected UI design as one, business logic as two, and database integration as zero, and manual testing is one. So the calculation will be saying, okay, we have calculated and total is coming as we are using the addition method. So total is coming to four. So this four is actually not falls into any Fibonacci series. So if we talk about our Fibonacci series, those are one, two, three, five, eight, 13, 21. So where it will be fit in, it will be fit in somewhere closer to the next Fibonacci series. So the next Fibonacci series will be between uh, 5 because it falls between 3 and 5. So for this one, this particular story, the person who is estimating can estimate as a 5 story point. And that falls because that is falls between 3 and 5. So 
now the same way uh, like planning poker they can show okay for my side my story point vote is 5 so similarly everyone will give their own story points what they have calculated for and the mostly voted story point will be taken for that particular stories notes now few points we need to remember that uh, you can create your own areas of complexity as uh, as per your need so over here we had four uh, different areas but you can also add etl job or um, automation testing or analysis work or whatever the different complexity areas you can think about or you think is needed for your kind of uh, development you can add that and create your own uh, different areas and di different calculation logic uh, addition or aggregation in that way so you can also increase the level of complexity for your needs so over here we had small low medium high you can have uh, very very small or small large extra large extra extra large medium so based upon your need you can categorize and uh, have your calculation that way so each team member again that uh, repeating the same thing except scrum master and product owner everyone needs to do their estimation and participate in the vote whatever they are calculating and give their values and based upon that value it will be taken so you can build your own application to do your calculation just use a excel or something i will be demonstrating something uh, that i had created on excel uh, how we can actually estimate that so that will be uh, talking in the next uh, next within few seconds okay so this is uh, the view of how that looks like and i am coming to jumping to demonstrating that it's bring up a form that says okay we have four different uh, areas of complexity dotnet development etl development manual testing and automation testing so these are the different sections we have and each section have different areas of complexity in granular level for an example for dotnet development we have code complexity number of cis complexity of impact refactoring unit test script research ui design service integration so there are many areas that you can actually shape up as per your need now i am saying for particular this story we have dotnet development and we have some manual testing and we have uh, some etl development so we don't have any automation testing so this area is still disabled now uh, for code complexity uh, here uh, for every click this gate generated uh, the number so i'm saying for code complexity it's large and uh, number of cis is large so it's not necessary every uh, click on every point it will increase your uh, story points because it's do and calculation and aggregating and based upon that and it's also shows you this uh, bar you are saying 100 percent dot net uh, 100 percent so it says everything is in development side there is no testing effort as of now so that will help up when you will be actually splitting that story into uh, testing activities or development activities you can uh, create the task accordingly and you said okay we need a unit testing script so i say okay this is xxl and in case you said okay this is also a small we have service integration and uh, for manual testing here i am saying okay this is a uh, excess now you can see there is a uh, change in the bar uh, that we have some manual testing involved and i say okay i have a data module i have a phone module and based upon whatever you are selecting the story point is actually uh, changing and it shows the graph what is the different label out of 21 and how many percentage of the story points we will be needing for creating the task for testing side or for the dotnet development side now I am saying okay for uh, ETL development also I need something so it says okay ETL development we have 24 percent now and the story point is still five so the contribution of your task will be coming up like that and if I say okay this is uh, medium and uh, design I don't need anything any design then I realized okay no uh, actually for this thing we don't need any and uh, database integration or um, any kind of uh, database related issues so I said okay now I don't need any ETL or uh, nothing and I there is no ETL involvement so now it will be increase uh, the story point because the entire complexity is coming up uh, for dotnet and manual testing 
so it's actually algorithm what we have written based upon that uh, it's coming up now i can select okay say uh, mm, i'm accepting this story and click on accept and this is how it is marked and later if i want to see how it was estimated i can click on that it says okay this was what we have uh, checked last time so hope uh, this give you a flavor of uh, how you can create an uh, estimation and uh, how you will be uh, doing a, creating a matrix for doing an uh, complexity bucket so this is a calculation based upon uh, my thinking and my algorithm you can create your own algorithm for uh, different areas of complexity and uh, different uh, smaller items within your complexity and if you again uh, if you want any kind of uh, clarification or doubts or any questions you can uh, drop me an email that will be coming up next with all the details and hope uh, i was able to make you understand uh, what exactly a complexity bucket is okay thank you for watching for more videos you can uh, visit uh, my website http colon slash slash agile digest dot com or uh, our youtube channel for videos that we uh, are uploading continuously on agile learning if you have any queries, any doubts or any questions, you can send us directly to niladri at agiledigest.com. We'll be coming up with more, many more videos and many more tutorials till that time. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.